Hey guys, today we're going to be going over uh, how to transfer from ARC to ARC on a PC. You might work with PS4 and Xbox One. I don't really know. I don't play that stuff. But uh, yeah, watch this and you might not end up like me with cap ropes, you know. Maybe. Not stress enough, you need to make sure that the coast is clear wherever you go. You may use obelisks or beacons to transfer from one map to another. And I'll show you like this. This is your arc data, this is where you store your, your items up in the cloud to download them from another map. You can click an item individually if it's a stack of something and just press T and it will transfer over, or you can double click if it's a single item. You can download items by double clicking them from your ARC data and it will automatically come to your inventory. They will not over encumber you, so don't be shy unless you don't have a mount right next to you to jump on. This is your creatures tab where you can click the dinosaur you want to upload and click the up arrow. Make sure it has nothing on its inventory or else you'll have to empty the bag out next to you. You cannot upload trophies, uh, the ARC data will not allow that, you can't transfer with them either. If you really need it, I recommend you put it someplace safe on that map, otherwise you're going to have to toss it. Um, also make sure you are using ARC data and not putting your items in the tribute, because then it will remain in the tribute until you come back. Somebody else can grab it, and you don't want that to happen, so make sure the items you want to upload are in ARC data. Personally, when I'm transferring to another server with a dinosaur, I try to make sure that the saddle is in the arc data alongside the dinosaur. That way, when I get to a beacon or an obelisk or a transmitter, I am capable of having that saddle available on the go the second I download that dinosaur. It's nothing shittier than downloading a dino with no saddle. I can promise you that. Another thing to remember is you can only have 20 dinosaurs uploaded at once and 50 items uploaded at once until it will say you've reached the maximum. You would have to download dinosaurs or items to make room for other items or dinosaurs. You can only have something uploaded for up to 24 hours before it automatically gets deleted and it will not be recovered. If you play on an unofficial server, I recommend you never bother an admin about this because they probably will not help you. It's one of those things that yes, life does happen, but you need to make sure before you log out every day that you do download everything you have uploaded or you could risk losing it if something comes up tomorrow. You may download items from your ARC data by simply double clicking the item that you want to download. You can also mass spam left click so you can just download everything from your ARC data. Again, you can get over encumbered, but if you do not have a weight limit when downloading from ARC data. You can download dinosaurs by clicking the dinosaur's name in your creatures tab and clicking the down arrow above it. Whenever you download a dinosaur, be aware that every dinosaur that you download will automatically follow you. Also, whenever you upload a dinosaur, all the folders inside of it will be deleted. So if you save your statistics and everything inside the dinosaur's folders, you, you will not have that anymore. Let's move on to beacons, shall we? Beacons can be used for uh, transferring just like an obelisk. It has the same tabs available. It just has a lesser duration than an obelisk because an obelisk is permanent. And a beacon also has items in it. If they're pulled, they will go away. When using a beacon, make sure that it's its uh, duration is at least above 20 because sometimes you might have a few things you need to upload 
need to make a couple trips, whatever. You want to make sure that you do have time to upload everything that you want to upload and then transfer without having the beacon despawn halfway through it. Trust me, that sucks. As you can see, everything that I've uploaded in the obelisk is still there in my arc data. It will remain there in any obelisk or beacon on any map that's in the same cluster or on official maps, I believe. I don't know how official works. Sorry, I play on official. But yeah, all those things will stay there for 24 hours. So make sure you, uh, you get them out before it's too late. Do note that when you use a beacon, if you pull the items out of the beacon, I'm sure you know, maybe you don't, it will despawn. So you can always just put something else like berries or fiber, anything that will stay there for the duration of the beacon's use. Beacons can be a lot sketchier to use for uploading and downloading, so I strongly advise severe caution whenever approaching one for enemy players if you're on a PvP map or PvP server, or for any other dinosaurs that might be hostile, aggressive, anything like that, they are very, very, or much more likely to be hanging around a beacon than an obelisk, but obviously you're never safe anywhere. But that being said, be sure you know what's in front of you. So now I'm about to transfer over to the Ragnarok map. I'm gonna make sure I have everything with me. If you keep stuff on your inventory, whenever you spawn, wherever you spawn, you will have those items on your inventory. So if you don't have a safe place to travel, this could be a very risky, risky move. All you're going to have to do is click the transfer to another server button and a list of servers will show up that are associated with your cluster. You can transfer to the map of your choice, but obviously we're transferring over to the right map. We will accomplish this by clicking the map that we want to connect to and then at the bottom clicking join with survival. I also want to note, when you connect to another server, if you've never been there yet, you will need to make your tribe on that server. The tribe does not transfer over, you will need to re-add your tribe mates, etc. when transferred. If for any reason you crash or time out while transferring to a server, just reconnect to the server you were trying to transfer to, click your character name, and download Survivor. If you have a bed on the map that you're transferring to, you will be able to spawn on that with your items that you have on your inventory. And now back to transferring to Ragnarok. Speaking of which, one of the easiest spots to spawn on Ragnarok is Jungle 2. It'll make you really close to the blue obelisk, making it very easy to download the items or dinosaurs that you have uploaded. As you can see, my uh, dinosaur that I had uploaded is still in the ARC data, and now we're going to download it to show you that I brought this dinosaur from the center to Ragnarok. Please note that the items that you saw me upload originally were not there because this video was shot out of order. I can guarantee you that as long as your cluster is working properly, you will be able to download the items that you have uploaded from another map. Now we'll be transferring over to the island. My favorite place to spawn on the island gets you closest to uh, Red Obelisk, West Zone 3. That way you can download your dinosaurs or items that you want to bring over there. And uh, yeah, sometimes you don't get the spot you want to be and you'll have to make a run for it. Sometimes it's risky, sometimes it's not. In this case, it wasn't too risky. 
I fast forward this sprint for your own patience and mine. I'm sure you can figure out where you need to go from here. But just as an understanding, sometimes you do have to make these runs, which is why I advise that you don't transfer with items on your inventory. When you're making these sprints, if you have items on your inventory that you do not want to lose, make sure that you keep an eye on your stamina and don't drain it just to run. Make sure you're only using it to run from dinosaurs that are faster than you. You can alternate between walking and sprinting to save your stamina and to bring it up as you walk. Now we're going to Scorched Earth. I'd like to normally spawn at Midlands 4 because it's closest to Green Obelisk. You have to be very cautious of Caprosuchus and other dinosaurs, but mainly the Capros really make downloading things out of the obelisk a pain in the ass. So make sure that you uh, enter with caution. Also, the temperature can be really rough on you, so make sure you're not wearing hide or fur or anything of the sort. I normally go naked and hope to God I make it to the obelisk without getting plowed. Yes, that is a crocheted jerboa made by my fiance. And when we spawned in, we immediately spawned into a sandstorm, so I kind of took a break for a minute before I started to make my way to the green obelisk. Once you spawn into scorched earth, look for the green obelisk and make sure that you run to it so you can download your dinosaurs, whatever. I do recommend if you don't have a spear or pike on you, that you make sure that you gather the stuff to make it. That way you can kill the capros that show up. It is good to have some armor. I mean, it's not 100% mandatory. Capros are kind of squishy. But at the same time, just to ensure your survivability, those are my tips. Now we're going to Aberration. I cannot stress this enough. If you are not prepared, if you do not have tribemates, do not, under any circumstances, travel to Aberration. You could find yourself possibly getting out within five minutes off the luckiest draw possible, or you could see yourself stuck here for almost a day. I wouldn't doubt that, depending on how much time you have available to play each day. But I do strongly advise that you save this for the last spot that you're trying to transfer to. As a fresh spawn on this map, the only option you have to escape it is with a beacon or a transmitter. But Obviously at this point you might not have a transmitter, maybe you do, but I do recommend that you just understand that beacons are your best bet. Obelisks are on the surface and I believe there is one inside the deepest part of the map and those are all locations you will not get to as a fresh spawn and I can promise you that, especially if you're not using cheats. Well that being said, use a beacon, use a beacon, use a beacon. As you can see in this video, I got really lucky. I was able to transfer after dying because it left the menu on my screen. So I took advantage of that before it was too late. You get the idea. It is very hard to escape this map. It'll take a lot of journey, and if it's, if it's an overpopulated map, you will definitely have trouble finding it. and now we'll be transferring over to the center. The center's best spawn point to get to an obelisk is to the Blue Obby on Tropical Island South. Make sure you spawn Tropical Island South, therefore you can just run up to the obelisk. Sometimes you'll end up on the back portion of the island and you might have to run around. You're better off killing yourself in my opinion, but sometimes, whatever. You got items on you, you gotta make the run for it. Do note, if you're trying to get to an obelisk and you see a lot of dinosaurs around, you can use other dinosaurs that would attack back for your protection, like a brontosaurus in this video. You'll see that I have raptors aggroed onto me. I brought them over to the, uh, to the bronto and it got me in safety's, safety's eyes. So 
keep that in mind. If you do find yourself in a situation like this, try to use the environment for your own protection. Get your tame downloaded and get the hell out of there quickly before it turns around on you. I hope any or all of this information has been useful to you guys in some way, shape, or form. If you did enjoy anything that you saw here, or learned anything, want to add anything, please feel free to comment down below. I'd greatly appreciate that. Thank you. Hey guys, I'm The Bugs Are Bad. Uh, I'm obviously the person who made this tutorial. You can find me on Twitch, Twitter, uh, YouTube, I don't know, Pornhub, all sorts of places. Just The Bugs Are Bad, best way to find me. This tutorial was a portion of Tutorial Tuesday, which is a event we do on Tuesdays in my stream on Twitch. It can be found below. Um, all these servers that I recorded on were owned by me. They're still up and running. Ragnarok is currently in the top 100 in the world, if you'd like to play on that. It's located in New York City. All that information can be found down below as well. If you click the subscribe button, I would greatly appreciate that. And thanks for checking out the, uh, the tutorial. It means a lot.